Now we will create a link to the C drive in which Vroid Studio will be installed in. Hello. Today we are looking at how to install Vroid Studio on a Chromebook. Please take note that you need a Chromebook with an Intel or AMD processor. Firstly, we will change three settings on our Chromebook to install a newer version of Linux and to improve the performance of the game. To do this we will go to these pages and enable the changes. The links are in the video description. Choose Bullseye. Now we will reboot our Chromebook. Now we will turn on Linux apps. To do this we will go to our system settings and click on the advanced section on the left panel. Now we click on the developer section. Now we will turn on the Linux apps. Now that we have enabled Linux apps on our system, we will continue to the next part of the installation process, which is to run several commands in a terminal that will install Wine. Wine is an application that allows us to install some Windows applications on a Chromebook. All the commands are in the video description. Now we will copy the first command and open a terminal session from our app menu. Next, we will paste the command into our terminal, either with a two-finger click on your terminal or click Ctrl, Shift and V together. This command will enable 32-bit architecture for Wine on your system. Press Enter. Now we will download the Wine security key with the next command. Now we will add the security key to our system. Now we will add the Wine repository to our system. Now we will update the system repositories of our Linux apps. Now we will install Wine. Press Enter to confirm the installation. Wine is now installed. Now we need to install three additional packages which Wine requires. Press Enter. 
Click on Install to confirm the installation. Click on Install to confirm the installation. Click on Install to confirm the installation. Now we will create a link to the C drive in which Broid Studio will be installed in. To do this we need to take the username of our Linux apps and modify the next command with it. Let us do it now. Let's run the command. You can access your C drive here if needed. Now we will continue to the next step, and that is to install Droid Studio. We will download it with the next command. Now we will install Vroid Studio. Please follow the installation wizard, as seen in the video. As you can see Vroid Studio is installed. We will find a Vroid Studio launcher in your menu now but it won't work. So, to launch it, run the last command every time in a Linux terminal and everything should work as expected. However, we first need to modify the launch command as before. Let us do it now. Let's launch it now.
enjoy Vroid's studio.